Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. I'm here at the beautiful Hammock Beach Resort, hosting a more Paris camp. Join me. This place is spectacular. See the ocean behind me? I'm teeing off with the ocean just behind me. That's amazing. I love ocean courses. All right, today we're going to talk about firing with our obliques. All right, this is a real power source that I don't think a lot of players utilize enough. All right, so our core, our midline, is really, in my opinion, the driver of the golf swing. All right, that's what rotates us. Our legs are there to support that rotation. I think a lot of players try to hit the ball with their legs and really try to rotate the legs. Instead, we should be rotating the torso. And once you feel this, you're gonna experience significant gains in your club head speed, all right? Because it's gonna improve your sequence as well. But it just gets that whip factor through the ball, which is incredible. So I'm just gonna give you help to feel that. And then in the gym, you know that machine where you sit on and you brace your legs and you just twist your torso? It's the same feeling. So if you go to the gym, if you go to the gym and do that machine, that's the feeling I'm asking you to do. All right, so a super braced lower body, that's what it's gonna feel like, even though we're allowing the hips to rotate, but we're gonna feel real stable in relation to the torso. And we're gonna focus on our core doing that rotation. Not our shoulders, our core. This is a big one, this is a big deal. And I think it's overlooked, and I think it's gonna help your ball striking. All right, so, so to feel it, you can either warm up with the light speed. That's a great way to do it, where you do small swings, stabilizing and really using your core to do the rotation. All right, that's a great way to warm up. And then when you're out on the course, you can go ahead and grab the club with your trail arm and just make a backswing and feel your, your, you're the target. Feel this whole side body kind of twisting, so visualize a towel, right? You're twisting a towel. All right, I want you to visualize a towel. Just happen to have one. <laughs> All right, there it is. And then you're gonna unwind at warp speed. So that's the wind up. When you wind up in your backswing, you're kind of winding up your core. And then when you release it, boom. But you gotta focus on it. You gotta put your intent there. And you're gonna get tremendous club head speed. Right, so having that feeling of the towel winding up, that's why we rotate, right? That's why we turn, so we can unwind. We can wind up that towel and then unwind it, all right? But you have to put your intent there. That's the key. All right, so visualize the towel and let it rip. So let me know if that all makes sense. It's a quick tip on how to get more distance in just a few swings.